Welcome back. All across Acadiana today, folks, started the cleanup process. And Lafayette Parish is no different. Joining us live right now is Jamie Angel, Chief Communications Officer for LCG. Jamie, thanks for talking with us tonight. First, let's start off with talking about power restoration. How is the parish looking right now? Well, we do still have several folks who are without power, but we are working hard to restore uh, a lot of those outages. Um, I don't know the exact latest numbers, but I know that we've made a lot of progress. We have over 20 mutual aid crews that have come from different parts of the country here to Latvia that were staged up at the Cajun Dome. And I'm telling you, the second the winds died down this morning before the sun even came up, they were out there working to restore power for folks in Latvia Parish. Yeah, we've, we have definitely seen them hard at work. Now, Jamie, for folks who are cleaning up today, what do they need to know about debris removal? Well, and I know a lot of folks are frustrated because we did have some debris left over from Laura that was still out there. And unfortunately, we kind of were on the bottom of the totem pole for that because the, the, the crews went out to the most uh, heavily affected areas. Um, but we are working to get extra crews in this go-round uh, to pick up that debris. So uh, we just ask that folks are uh, being patient. We had 229 calls in a public works uh, as of a few minutes ago, uh, and I think we've, we've uh, answered more than 100 of those calls at this point. So we are making a lot of headway as far as picking up debris, and uh, we're doing everything we can to get extra crews in to help us uh, get all of the debris picked up. Now, finally, talk to us about the curfew. What are the details about the curfew that's in place, and how long can we expect that to last? Right. The curfew is back in effect uh, starting at 8 o'clock tonight until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. And that's mainly because there's still a lot of places without power. I don't know if you've been driving around on the streets uh, of Lafayette, but you'll notice that some of the street lights aren't working. Um, I know this morning I was out there about 6.30. It was dark, pitch black, down University, and the street lights were out. You have to treat those as a four-way stop, and a lot of people weren't doing that. They just don't know the process. So this is mainly to keep the roads clear so that those recovery crews can get out there and start picking up that debris and make a, a, a lot more headway. And it's for the safety of our residents. Uh, a lot of people want to get out there and see everything, you know, see some of the damage. We ask that you don't do that. We ask that you stay home. Uh, that way it's safe for not just you, but for the folks out there trying to help with the recovery. Yeah, a lot of danger is still out there. All right, thank you so much for talking to us today, Jamie. Thanks, guys. Take care. Stay safe. Same. Now